you can create a sun path and you can interact with that sun path by dragging on the position of the sun to change the time of day or time of year. You can also save the settings and you can apply those settings to individual views. So for example, you could set up your project so that by clicking on one view, you're looking at the summer solstice and clicking on another view, you're looking at the winter solstice. The sun path itself was first available in the Ecotech product and now it's available in the Revit products and in Vasari. We're going to use the sun path to do studies of the shadow patterns uh, on the site, which is St. Louis, Missouri. And it's the example from the book called Sun, Wind and Light. The big picture here is that having modeled the site and placed building components on the site and other features such as trees, uh, we can now save the settings that we want to use to simulate conditions um, either at a specific time of the year or over a range of time, say within a day or multiple days within that year. We'll then be able to visualize what's going on and analyze it, which will help us make decisions about um, activities that take place on the site. Okay, you, you can continue with the current project or you can open the file called Sun Studies. And uh, what I want to show is that, first of all, in this 3D view, you see I can toggle on and off the display uh, of the shadows. Uh, the other thing I can do is under the Sun Path on or off. If I turn it on, then what I'm doing is turning on a kind of a interface that shows um, a compass with the position of the sun and the time of day and the uh, time of year. So manually, if I click on that sun position, you see that I can drag it to a different time of day. And if I pull forward like that, you see that I can actually change the month. So I'm making the shadows very long and low or summer months where it's higher in the sky. And then uh, to the right, uh, earlier in the morning. So I, I can I can explore my my site and where the shadows fall using that option. It might be a little easier if uh, if you realize that down here there's actually a calendar. So if I said something like uh, June twenty first, and for the time I set it at. Uh, uh, so let's say four o'clock, right? Something, something like that. Four o'clock. So if I go in and change this, you see the position of the sun change when I hit the enter key, and then I can look and see exactly where shadows fall on my on my sign. That that's one way to use the uh, the option. It's the sun path.